In the next set of videos, we're going to take a look at uh, configuring our site. Now, WordPress initially started out as a blogging platform, and by default, you will see that your website is basically set up as a blog with all your posts on the home page of your site. But this is very easy to, to change, and it really is up to you whether you want to have your site as a straight blog or you want to have a traditional website without posts or have a combination of both. If we go to our home page and I'm just looking at this site in a private browsing tab so that we don't see the additional information at the top to edit because we're logged in and if we just go to our home page you see all our posts listed on the front. Now by default this is how your site will be set up with WordPress and uh, additionally we've created some pages and those are being displayed as well in our menu. Now so if you want to achieve uh, a blog only platform for your website then basically what you have to do is not create pages and only create posts or if you create pages then you can use your custom menus to basically remove them from the navigation and then put links to your posts for specific pages that you want to reveal to your users or for example if you only just want to have like an about me page or contact page and uh, if you also want to have a more traditional site where you have no posts then what we do is to go into our dashboard and go to settings and go to reading <coughs> and you will see an option that says front page displays. Now as you can see the radio button has selected your latest posts. As we said before this is the default. But you can put a static page and where it says front page and you can select one of the pages that you have already created. So in this case I'm going to use our about me page and if we wanted to have only pages on our site, we select Save Changes. Go back to our home page, and, and of course this would be useful if you have, for example, a business site and you wanted to have a specific home page, a landing page, where you have something like a slider on the front of your services or the products that you offer and then tabs <coughs> with the links to other pages etc so if if that's what you want to achieve and if, if we just re refresh we see the changes so here we are we have an about me page which has now been used as our home page so we are at the the home page of our site and the only other pages are the pages that we created and of course you do have a link to your posts in your sidebar and this is easy to achieve and we look at that when we start to look at widgets but all you'd have to do is simply remove the recent posts from your sidebar and your page would not have posts at all displayed anywhere now if you wanted to do a combination of both where you still have a static page that Wherever, whenever users come to your site they land on that specific page whether you want to show them your services or you want to build a mailing list or whatever it is but you still want to have posts on your website and what you do is to go ahead and create a new page and for example you can call this page blog 
or news or updates whatever it is that you want to, to call it it's up to you and you won't put any content on this page and you simply publish that page and if we go back to our settings and reading then where it says posts page then you would select that page from the list so blog and then you have some options here to say that your blog pages will show at most 10 posts and you can edit this number if you'd like I put 5 and the same for your syndication feeds which is which are your RSS feeds the amount of posts to show in those feeds at any one time and you can select if for the for the articles in your feed if you want to show all the text or just a summary and there's just one more option here which are uh, which speaks to search engine visibility and this is if you want to basically keep your search private then you can request that search engine is not index it now the search engines will, engines will decide whether or not they want to honor this request so it's not foolproof but um, basically you know if, you, if it is a public site if you're trying to get build your brand and your business then you you, you wouldn't want to tick, tick this box but there may be reasons why you would want to in fact tick this box to discourage search engines from indexing the site so if we save the changes here because what we're trying to achieve is a, a static front page a landing page and our blog posts on a separate page and there's just one more thing we'd have to do for, under appearance we have to go to menus because of course we are using a custom menu for our site so for that page that says blog to show up we'd have to add it to our menu so just like add to menu and we can of course drag this page to wherever we want it in the order and I'm just going to leave it at the end for now and if we save the menu and we go back to our site and update and refresh and whenever, whenever you make changes just, just, just to make this point whenever you make changes whether you're making posts or changing options you should always save or update. If we go back over to our site while that's being done and if we refresh the page then you will see that our home page is still showing this about me page but now we have a page that says blog and all our posts now appear on that page. So there you have it that's how you that those are the options so if you want a site that just only has pages or if you want a site that only has posts or if you want both and that's exactly how you do it